Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. I am worried about my future and where I will be. I don't know what to do or where I'm going. All I want is a simple life and to try to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The first thing that you have to do is you have to ask Allah for a guide. When you are lost, ask Allah for a guide. When believers, they are lost and they are helpless, from the time of the uh, Adam alayhi salam until the time of the Prophet alayhi salam, when believers, they are struggling, they ask Allah for a guide. They are asking Allah to send them a prophet or they ask Allah to send them a king. So you are lost a little bit. If you feel that you are lost, ask for a guide. It's more intelligent. You may say, show me the right way. How do you know you have the proper eyes to know what is right and what is wrong? How do you know? People want to follow the sirat. Thinking it is Sirat al Mustaqim. But it is a different Sirat. It's not Sirat al Mustaqim. It is a Sirat of deviation or Sirat of pulling the anger of Allah. So if you think that you are lost, ask Allah for a guide. Doesn't matter who it is. But if you ask Allah for a guide, you ask Allah for a Shaykh. Take any shaykh that y your heart is pulling to, that you feel certain that that one will bring you to what you are looking for, then follow. The order to follow a shaykh, it is everywhere. It is also in the Quran al Allah is saying, follow those who ask you no fee. And who are themselves rightly guided. Be with the Salihin. So find a Shaykh, find a guide, and follow. Step by step, that one will tell you what to do. There are different kinds, up to you, to go to whomever you think is going to be able to satisfy your heart. Be clear what you want. If you want simple life, you want just to be a good servant. There are other shaykhs out there that will be able to guide you properly. So then that time will be easy for you. Otherwise, you'll still be scrambling. You're showing one thing, next day, your ego will show you another, shaitan will trick you to show you another, because you don't have somebody out in front of you, one person in front of you, that is going to say, do this and don't do this. And when you're following one shaykh, it is better Follow that one. Listen to that one. Sohbat especially. Now we're talking about because our jamaat is based on sohbat. You are not going to follow the sohbat of one shaykh, follow another sohbat, another shaykh, another sohbat, another shaykh. Especially in our jamaat. It is up to you. You can do it. We're not forcing you. But when you do that, you're going to mix all the medicines up. You're going to mix all the medicines up. You don't do that in this real life where you go to see one a foot doctor, you say, this is enough, this doctor is giving me this medicine. You don't go to ten foot doctors to see what they're going to do and what kind of medicine that they are going to ask. You know that you have to concentrate on one. So, you may go, but you get mixed up that time, and we know that you are going to get mixed up. So from the beginning, you had that already. Now, if you are following in our way, as we said before, before you take the bayat, I say we ask you so many times, are you sure? Are you sure? Because it is different from others. If it's necessary, as Shah Fendi is saying, we will knock you wall to wall. Because this way is to teach you your evil side, your bad side, your negative side, your ego and your shaitan. This is not the way that is going to show you your angelic side, your saintly side your holy side. There are so many other shaykhs that can do that. You come in and they'll praise you. It's not our way. We're going to say, look, 
this ego that you have, this characteristic that you have, it is no good. It is stopping you. You are a good person, but this characteristic is not. You are stuck here. You must be awake and you must be aware. Because your ego can trick you even if you worship so much and you know so much, your ego can trick you. So you must understand the ego. The shaykh will show you. Sometimes when it's necessary, he will knock you wall to wall. And it's not in a way that you are going to like. In fact, in today's cancel culture, they're going to say all that is abuse. What else they say? Uh, psychological uh, bullying, this and that. All words you may say. Funny, they don't talk about like that to about the military. Uh, they don't say that about, let's say, why you don't say when I'm studying in the university and they give me this much reading material that they're bullying me? Why you don't say that? Especially engineers. Eh? Engineers, they have no life. Why you don't say this is psychological abuse? Why you don't say that? The engineers have no life, right? For all the they, they become very, they don't have social skills. Because they are given so much work to absorb that they don't have uh, time to be normal. Why you don't say that? Why you don't say that you're getting abused when you're going to work? Hmm? Oh, it fits you to say things like that about the way of Allah. Go ahead, doesn't matter. Eh, dogs will bark, but the caravan continues. We continue, inshallah, with or without you. Yeah? Assalamu alaikum. Amen.